I would like to discuss with respect to uh, intimate problems two uh, aspects and I'm not talking about sexual transmitted diseases but I would like to talk about the two main causes of problems in the vaginal area. The one is very well known and that is yeast. Why yeast? Always yeast, yeast, yeast. Every little itch, every discomfort, every woman immediately says, I have a yeast. Well, that's not the case. That's not the case. Only in one third of the cases of women with problems, it is indeed candida. But yeast is indeed a, a guest, an unwanted guest, but the guest is not really dangerous. Uh, there's no relationship, for example, between yeast and uh, cervical cancer. But it's a big nuisance, that's for sure. And the problem with yeast is that it always grows together with the good boys, and this is the lactobacilli flora, because both need cell sugar. Uh, the cell sugar is in the vaginal tissues uh, is uh, most of the time present in a higher percentage present in the second half of the cycle. So if you want to know if you have a yeast problem, one of the indications is second half of the cycle. And another thing, because it always grows together with lactobacilli, the acid producing lact lactobacilli, is the measuring of the vaginal acidity. Unfortunately, this little test, this little strip that will indicate immediately if your pH is low, so acidic is not everywhere available and uh, yeah there should be something done about this so you really have to go to a, to a doctor and the doctor should first thing of all check with an acidity strip pH strip if the pH is acidic and then look for candida but you yourself can immediately make the relationship hey is it the second half of the cycle and then Another sign of candida is a little bit of a cottage cheese-like uh, discharge and then the itch, pain, also during coitus, during sexual intercourse. So this will be an indication. And due to the fact that women immediately think, I have a candida, uh, and due to the fact that the antimycotics can be bought over the counter without a prescription, there's a huge overuse of antimycotics. And the danger is already creeping up, like in antibiotics. The first signs of resistance to yeast products is already popping up. So it would be good to discern for yourself what is it. Is it a yeast or is it not a yeast? Then, the other side of the medal, which is much worse, that is the famous fishy odor that is connected to the BV flora. And bacterial vaginosis, BV. Bacterial vaginosis is very, very, very common. It's an overgrowth of unwanted bacilli. And these unwanted bacilli also thrive in a much higher and that is saltier acidity and in this much saltier environment all sorts of creepy pathogens can grow as well sexual transmitted uh, microorganisms as uh, just the nuisance from the overgrowth of this uh, flora and it causes the same kind of problems like uh, as candida, so also itch, pain, burning, but has a different discharge. BV can occur mostly in the first half of the cycle, but also in the second half. And the fishy order is very, very typical for it. Um, management of BV is in very severe cases antibiotics but most of the time it's just correcting of the acidity so applying acidic gel acidifying the vaginal environment will chase this overgrowth 
of unwanted flora away and in the acidity the lactobacilli will get a chance to grow again. So one of the best treatments for the fishy order is acidifying with an acidic gel and then is our advice and which is uh, contradicted uh, in America. I will come back to that in, a, in another little talk about vaginal hygiene and flushing. <coughs> Our advice is to flush out first uh, the unwanted flora and then apply acidic gel. And I will tell you within a few days this will be gone. And BV is also very related to unprotected uh, intercourse. Why? Because the ejaculation uh, fluids of the man are salty and that is because the spermatozoa bring their own little as alkaline swimming pool with them. Um, spermatozoa don't like acidity at all and this e ejaculation we found can really change the vaginal acidity of a woman up to four days after intercourse. So if you are sensitive to a foul smell after intercourse, we advise flushing plus acidification of the vagina with an acidic gel. <laughs>